Okay, signs of progress ahead of Saturday's highly anticipated ESPN College Game Day show and the Memphis Tigers primetime football game, which you can watch, of course, right here on Local 24. That's right, and today the city of Memphis announcing certain street closures, while over at the Liberty Bowl, they're closing in on the first sellout since 2015. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broder's live downtown, and Brad, I'm sure this impact will be huge. <laughs> It will be Katina and Richard. After tonight's Elton John concert ramps up at FedEx Forum, this stretch of BB King between Peabody Place and MLK Boulevard will be closed until Saturday night as ESPN College Game Day crews set up and then break down their extensive stage sets. Today, as other crews ready to deal for broadcast, Memphis football tickets continue to sell like hotcakes at a pace not seen in years, if ever. From excited buyers at the University of Memphis ticket office. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited. To city crews setting up University of Memphis signs on Beale Street ahead of ESPN's college game day broadcast. I'm not sure there's ever been a better time to be a Tiger. A historic Saturday for the university and the Bluff City is taking shape. And with it, the Memphis football team is nearing its first sellout in four years. We're getting really close. I mean, it's, it's looking like we are exactly where we wanted to be. Steve Macy and U of M's athletic office said Saturday's top 20 clash against SMU sold about 15,000 tickets since a $9.01 91 flash sale launched Monday afternoon. That's also when ESPN committed to airing college game day downtown. We thought in our in our minds I had 10,000 uh, ticket sale would be a success and so it's been blown away. U of M leaders said college game day and the nationally televised primetime football game not only revs up a citywide fan base, it draws positive attention to the University of Memphis and plenty of potential future students who will tune in. Sports has shown for a long time that it can help increase your recruitment of students. Now, football fans will be ready to get in position for ESPN College Game Day at BB King and Beale Street beginning at 5.30 a.m. Saturday morning to see which downtown streets will be affected. We have a map of those streets on our website, localmemphis.com. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Brad Broders, Local 24 News. Thank you, Brad. Even FedEx Forum is joining in on the festivities surrounding ESPN's College Game Day this weekend. Parking at its Gossett Motors parking garage will be open as early as 5. Saturday morning. It'll be $10 per car, cash only. You can also swing by the Forum's Grand Lobby for a $5 breakfast burrito if you want to. Plenty of bars along Beale Street will also be open early Saturday morning with food and drink specials. For the full list, just look for this story on localmemphis.com. And before game day, join us here on Local 24 Friday night at 6 for our one-hour special, Tiger's Den Live. We'll be live on Beale Street with what you need to know about watching College Game Day Live. There will be surprise guests, as well as a look at the U of M's homecoming celebrations that will be underway. Again, that's Friday night at 6, only on Local 24. And if you want to avoid all the traffic and crowds, don't worry. Local 24 News has a front row seat for you to the game. We're the only station that you can see the Tigers take on SMU. Coverage starts 6.30 Saturday night right here on Local 24.